Hello and welcome friends, my name is Francie, once again bringing you some Kerbal Space Program mod overview. Today we're taking a look at Kerbal Reusability Expansion. That's right, I think it is, yeah. <laughs> so what KRE is all about is reusability, right? Something that I really love doing, and if, if you watch pretty much any of my Kerbal videos, you know I like to reuse things. Uh, one is to kind of simulate this idea of... Hey, we want to save money, right? Even if money isn't a thing, we're playing in sandbox. Same idea, right? We want to be efficient. We want to save as much of the, the rocket as we possibly can. So we like to reland those core stages because typically those are the easiest to reland. We don't have to worry too, too much about uh, heating or anything like that, depending on what we do here. And kids, don't try this launch at home. You'll notice I'm taking a pretty terrible ascent. We're not really doing much of a pitch program, a gravity turn, if you will. Uh, and so, but that's kind of a necessary evil. In order to RTLS, that's that's kind of what we have to do, just because of a number of factors. But uh, KRE Kerbal Reusability Expansion adds a lot of cool things: legs, lots of legs, um, adds some heat shielding slash legs, and, and I'll kind of describe this as it goes along. But if you're a big fan of SpaceX and what they do, this is probably a really good mod for you. If you're doing a career mode uh, and you want to save some money, particularly if you're doing a career mode in hard. You're going to want to penny pinch as much as you possibly can. So saving that first core stage is going to save you a good chunk of money, right? And so that's, that's kind of what this mod is geared towards. If you're hardcore, you're about saving money. If you're kind of making it a realistic space program or budgeting out as much as we can, then this is for you. And uh, we're, we're just kind of going through a simulation here. And we got towards that 22-ish kilometer range where things start to despawn and vanish and delete and so we we oh man can i get this thing righted hopefully uh well we're gonna point back back towards our launch sites for an rtls a return to launch site i am not nearly skilled enough or patient probably enough to deal with trying to land this thing in a drone which is way more efficient out in the sea but uh, as you can see here we're gonna bring this thing back in uh you can also see the grid fins it adds some grid fins for steering and braking purposes which is pretty cool you can see the landing legs pretty clearly there so it, it's pretty exciting and we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and try to land this bad boy this is kind of our, our re-entry burn if you will so we're just kind of slowing ourselves down we don't want to go too too far away from uh casey that that racks up the dollars right we're gonna go transfer this thing back you can see those beautiful grid fins in action here pretty pretty nice they look nice they, they function pretty well too they do give you some additional steering which is really useful that way you don't have to rely on rcs and particularly the rcs um, as you get back into the atmosphere becomes significantly less effective so we're gonna go ahead and try to land this thing we're gonna see how that goes uh i'll be honest i, I thought about making a fail compilation at the end of this video but it, there were so many fails i, I think i'm just gonna make a separate video it, it's gonna be pretty epic and i i loved every minute of it because failure is awesome you learn so much from failure. But let's see if we can actually go ahead and land this thing. Uh, we're going to fire up. And I'm going to go ahead and toss it to my older, more experienced, wiser self. So you can get my, my live reaction to me finally landing this thing. You'll see that fail compilation soon. But here we go. Perfect. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Yes! We did it. We did it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man, that was that was uh, that was challenging. That was a legitimate suicide burn. Full full on there. All right, brilliant. Let's let's move on. <laughs> and that, that was quite exciting though. That was pretty good. I, I had had a lot of fun doing that. And again, don't be afraid to fail. If you're using Kerbal Reusability Expansion, you're gonna fail. Because landing is hard sometimes, you know? So be 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 okay with that. That's a good thing. It's not a bad thing. And uh, we'll go ahead and show off some of the other parts here. You can see that heat shield, but it also has a landing legs. You can see them underneath there. Highly recommend you guys check those out. Um, pretty cool. Heat shield with landing legs. We're doing a legit touchdown here. Uh, and I apologize there's no sound. I have to. I think I'm going to start switching recording software because it does not record my in-game sound properly or sync it up in any which way. And so we're going to go ahead and switch over probably, I don't know, maybe we'll use OBS or something. 
But uh, hopefully everything uh, worked out for you. I highly recommend this mod if you're into landing things. You can see the new Glen landing legs there as well. Uh, again, this this was a pretty spectacular failure um, <laughs> most of the time. This is actually my, my one success here, and that's all it took was just one success, right? So hopefully you guys really enjoyed this video. Uh, apologize if there's any tearing or strange graphical things. Like I said, I have to switch recording software, but um, drop a like, say hello in the comments, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.